Curious Mind, Psyche Seekers. Welcome to the introductory class on psychology. Let's see what do we study in psychology. Okay. First of all, if I was present with you and I was conducting the class with you physically, I would have asked you to close your eyes for a minute and think about what comes in your mind when you hear this word psychology and then I could have jot out certain responses which you had given to me over here on the boat. Anyhow since we are not physically present so let's start what normal responses do we get for psychology. No you can understand mine through this. And you get these types of unusual responses and certain other responses or whatever is going to tell you about the subject matter or what is taught in here on the board. See, if you want, means why you all have opted for psychology, try to understand that. Maybe you have that inert you know, feel inner desire to know yourself, to know others, to know why people dream, to know why people are unhappy, to know why people beat each other, to know why people indulge in pro-social behavior, to know why, what makes an handicapped person to climb Mount Everest. If you will be reading NCRT, you will be finding the case of Mr. Ahuvalya who had climbed the uh, Mount Everest after getting injured in war with Pakistan. So what were the things going on in his mind when he has, I uh, means that pulled him to uh, reach Mount Everest. Okay. So these things you will study. This is why children opt for psychology. Now, okay dear students, now let me acquaint you with the personal relevance of psychology. That is what value it has for you in your personal lives. See, if you have taken psychology, then towards the end of the course of class 11 as well as of class 12, you would be able to get aware about yourself. We will be conducting tests in psychology which will help you to know your own motivation, to know your own desires, to know more about your personality that is whether you are introvert, extrovert or ambivert and this in turn will help you to select profession for yourself. Then, then the other thing is you will get to know about the techniques of coping with the stress that is you would be taught about stress management in psychology. Then other thing that is very very important children is that we maintain healthy relationship with others. For example, means just like a case I am discussing with you, you become an IES officer. Okay, that's good for you. But if you do not have, uh, you know, someone to share your happiness with, then how you would feel? You would feel depressed. That is why... Here we teach also teach you about different strategies which you should follow to have healthy relationship with others. Like your communication should be assertive. Your body language speaks a lot. So all this is taught in class 11 and 12 psychology and if you take up in future, you would be also taught about the rearing techniques which I always tell in my present students would become future parents which they can utilize when uh, 
they become parents in their personal lives the other thing it will help you to build your resilience resilience children is the ability to cope up Co bounce back sorry bounce back you know all of us face various stressful situations in the life but are we able to get out of that situation fast we all you know that acceptance level should be there what happens a child if has made the mistake is not able to accept that mistakes are the part of life all of us are human all of us make mistakes even i mistake make 10 mistakes but i have to learn from the mistakes in neither i have to feel depressed for it so that acceptance that capacity to resilience to bounce back after anything has happened in your life then will also help you cycle through your psychological test techniques you can set up your goals properly and keep yourself motivated not only this it will also make you emotionally intelligent eq is something which is driving the interest of all the educators today see children average iq can go average iq if you are uh, means 50% or 60% student that can help you to lead your life but if you don't know how to go along with others if you don't know how to express your emotions to deal with your emotions then you will not be able to uh, take up uh, jobs or at least you know uh, maintain your jobs even if you get way or certificates they will see you they might give you the jobs but then how are you going to work in a team that is also the subject matter of psychology okay now the other thing which i would like to introduce in this introductory class of psychology is various branches of psychology and what you can do if you pursue psychology okay if i start discussing the scope of psychology na children it is so wide that you will be surprised see it starts from the womb of the mother and uh continue still the last breath of your life because be the subject matter of psychology is behavior and behavior starts when the womb of the mother you must have heard about abhimanyu's story isn't it so okay so now let's see the various branches of psychology and related to uh, branches of psychology you have psychologist at work that means you can take up these professions in future so first is developmental psychology it studies the person's uh, physical social emotional development at different stages of life starting from the uh, prenatal stage till the death okay then social psychology it studies the behavior of the individual in social situations and you would be surprised to know that the presence of other people do not always disturbs us do not always make us nervous it only make us nervous when the task is difficult or when we are not confident about our task otherwise the presence of others will facilitate us so in this we will be also studying about social inhibition and social facilitation now next branch if i talk about is environmental psychology this studies the interaction of physical factors like just now in order to make this video for you i had switched off my fan so i am sweating also children so this is going to affect although i am now very much equipments uh, i know the subject so i am able to teach it in this presence also but yes if i was stand st you know sitting in a ac room and teaching you of course maybe i would have taught you without getting disturbed with this sweat and all so 
the psychologists are going to take account of the environment also they would uh, they can help the people in suggesting a proper environment for the uh, work employees which would be fruitful to um, make them productive okay now other th other branch if i talk about industrial psychology here also the people deal with the all the problems of the workplace you know nature of the workplace then what type of employees are there what is the policy of the management towards the employees what comfort they are giving beside the handsome salary what comforts they are giving then uh, biological psychology it studies the relationship between behavior and the physical system children whatever you know uh, see mind and body go together so a healthy mind resides in healthy body okay so we have to take care of our physical health in order to be mentally healthy and vice versa what happens if we are under a stress our immune system get shattered and we are not able to perform better next you have cognitive psychology it deals with the mental processes then you have clinical psychologists you have counseling psychologists the list is very vast okay to be covered in this introductory class hope you must have enjoyed the class and in real classes we can conduct the experiments also children like uh, you know we can ask to uh, we can ask the children to make two groups and they can play tug of war and the other persons can other uh, children can act as the audience and observe their behavior and you would be surprised to know that which team uh, which uh, even if the team is winning but only the sincere people are putting the effort in it because they are doing they are self motivated they don't require you know the recognition whereas the other person who are exerting the less uh, you know uh, less uh, force are also winning but they feel that it's not my it's not me it's my team winning they have such feeling then apart from this we can also experiment if i can ask you to clap your hands now the you know we cannot guess who is clapping with what a strength the voice you are making okay so this is the concept of social loafing which you will be taught if you pursue psychology thank you and uh, please do if this video has helped you in any way please do like share and subscribe thank you children